Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Fitbit has rolled out a brand new look to its Fitbit app dashboard on web and the mobile app. So yes, in this video, I'll be comparing both the new versus the old dashboard look starting right now. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos about Fitbit smartwatch, tech reviews, designing tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find a playlist exclusively for Fitbit Versa containing 57 plus videos. Yes, you heard it right, 57 plus videos and more to come. Be sure to check it out. So just yesterday I got an option to upgrade to the newer look of the Fitbit app dashboard. So I just went ahead and upgraded which now is irreversible just so you guys know. So even if I want. I can't go back to the earlier dashboard look. I wish there was an option to switch between both but apparently there isn't. And if you are badly want to switch back to the older look, you can probably reinstall the Fitbit app and maybe you will be able to go back but I haven't personally tried it. Now before you guys go ahead and upgrade, watch this video completely to know ahead of time what to expect. Guys, this is not a video to compare which one is superior over the other. However, this is to show you the different orientation with various elements, statistics and new features. And additionally, at the end of this video, I will also show the newer look on Windows application plus web browser dashboard. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here I am on my Android phone with the newer Fitbit app dashboard and over here is the screenshot of the old dashboard and let's start top to bottom. On the top left of the screen now you can see the account icon with your profile picture unlike just the account icon on the older version on the top right. This is what I personally like. When you click it, same page will open as it did in the older version, which is to change account setting, add new family member, device and all other settings which I have already talked about in a video linked up over here. Now let's go back, there is no change on how to instantly synchronize your watch which is by dragging down and it will start synchronizing. Now while it's synchronizing, you will see Versa written on left hand side with the battery icon and percentage which does get hidden once sync is complete. Unlike in the older version, you can see it all the time with a green battery icon meaning your watch is connected to the phone, which I personally find annoying on the newer version. Anyways, once you click on the Versa or the battery icon, you'll be taken to your watch settings like clock face, apps, media and other settings, all of which I have covered in previous videos I have posted in the playlist that I mentioned about in the start of the video and nothing has changed here. Now let's go back. On the top right you see the icon it's basically the notification icon uh, on the older version it said notification unlike the new version it does not say what the icon is for so it would be really nice if they mentioned it uh, that way it would be easier to find once you click it you'll be taken to the notification and the messages uh, which haven't changed compared to the older version let's go back and currently we are on the today tab as you can see in the bottom panel it's basically the dashboard tab on the older version where you can see all your statistics at glance now instead of rounded icon there are square icons with rounded corners which to me personally looks quite contemporary the new option you see here is edit once you click it you can literally hide unhide and rearrange all the statistics as well as manage the today items. Once done hit save and we'll go back. But now we are lacking the share icon which was really nice in the older version with which you can share the page instantly which apparently now you cannot. 
if you were to click on any steps let's say steps you'll be taken to all the details about that on different days and more which hasn't really changed at all scrolling down you can see all the today items like sleep day off the exercise heart rate and all the cool part over here is once you hit the plus icon beside any activity you can manually log that particular activity data which in the older version was by clicking that big green plus button scrolling further down is the weight water and calorie log now i really hoped that fitbit would fix the issue where if i add uh, water and weight on the watch it would sync on the fitbit app as well but to my surprise it's still not fixed even if i were to add water intake from my watch it won't come up on the mobile app whatsoever which really sucks let me know in the comments down below if it's working for you guys or not. And all the way at the bottom you can see discover which is also available on the bottom panel on left hand side of the today tab. Once you click it, uh, the first tab you will see is health and wellness statistics which are, are also which are all the tools available on today tab let me show you so i haven't added female health obviously because i'm a guy <laughs> female health is basically to track uh, female menstruation cycle for demonstration purpose let me just go ahead and add second once done you will see it on the today tab now to delete it go and click the edit button and find the female health and click delete and save it that's it let's go back second on the list is challenges and adventures which is basically the challenges tab on the older version with a more vibrant look where you can compete with your friends with uh, adventure race or solo adventures let's go back third on the list is workouts which is the guidance tab on the older version where you can find various workouts if you click on any workout you will see all the details of that particular workout and an option to open it in the fitbit coach app on your mobile device which i'm not gonna discuss in this video the last on the list is the community tab which is the same as community icon on the older version on clicking it you will see the community feed friends and groups so there you go guys these are all the changes you will see on the newer versus the older fitbit app dashboard i hope this gives you an idea of what to expect or if you have already updated you will now know all the options Let me show you the Fitbit app on Windows desktop which has not changed at all. Not sure if it's just me or for all of you but I would really appreciate your comments down below if you found that the Windows app has changed or not. And lastly is the web browser dashboard as you can see here this has changed a bit in terms of graphics but not really much in terms of user interface that's what i personally noticed now i'm pretty sure like me not a lot of you use the web browser dashboard so i'm not gonna go in depth about that in this video but if you guys want me to dive deep in certain topics please comment down below and i'll try to cover it up and please check the description of this video to find great deals on Amazon for various Fitbit smartwatch and accessories. Purchasing from those links really helps our channel without affecting you as a customer in terms of price. Moreover, you will find reduced price for most of the products. That being said, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. I would also love to hear from you guys which dashboard you 
prefer new or old in the comments down below thank you so much for watching this video please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care i'll see you guys in the next one peace